with what we have this year. Hi, Latanya, go on in. Have fun. Happy new school year. Hey, Justice. Good to see you. Hey, welcome. This is the latest of eight new schools in our 2004 bond program. And this school in particular was open to help alleviate overcrowding in the Linder Elementary School area. This site is particularly important in education because it is an early learning center. It's a very special part of the educational experience, particularly for children who live in poverty and without experiences like this, they would come to school unprepared to learn. Nice to meet you. Hi, Maya. Hi, Maya. Hi, how are you? Hi. Is your mom? Yes. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Eileen. Welcome. We're so proud of you for doing all that you needed to do to be great students, to be here in Ann Richards today. We know that you're gonna to contribute to the legacy of this school. You have a lot of responsibility, but these amazing seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen, eighth graders, and seventh graders will help you along your way. But we want you to know that you are welcome here. We are so excited to have you here, and we know that you're gonna have the best school year ever. I almost broke down when I saw some of my seniors who've been with me for my three years as a superintendent and ending your senior year and going on to college. Excuse me while I cry. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all are killing me. I just, I don't want you to go, but I know that you have to go, and I'm just so very proud of you. So have a great school year, and good luck. When you're crunchy, what, what happens sometimes? What are you feeling inside? Unhappy. What's one of the things that you can do that can calm you back down and get you focused? Relax and breathe in and out. I'm gonna do that one. Are you ready? One more time. So when you get grumpy, no. sad, angry, cry, frustrated, one way to smooth it out is to just breathe. So my favorite animal is a dog. I have a pet named Spade. Okay, he has blue eyes. And he's this is a puppy. He's a puppy. Okay, I'm ready. I was listening very carefully. So first of all, Ms. De La Torre's favorite animal is a puppy. Her puppy's name is Spade. Her puppy has blue eyes. And her puppy is this big. Because she's a puppy. 
Okay. I have a dog. His name is Munego. His eyes are brown. This is what I heard. I heard that your favorite animal is a dog. His name is Muneka? Muneko. Muneko. Okay, Muneko. And you play with him with the ball. Feels big and strong brain. Mine does. Awesome. So, make that good listening. We're going to move on. Aww. Anyway, thank you for my little poster. It's very sweet. I'll put it on my door in my office. Thank you. Bye. I was a former middle school teacher. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite grade level of all time. And I absolutely love it when you become eighth graders. And the reason I love it when you become eighth graders is because it becomes pretty clear, just from what you heard, what kind of leaders you're going to be. But at Webb this year, there's something very special happening just next door on this very campus. Did anybody notice what was going on? Even smaller, they're smaller than kindergartens. So imagine if a group of you got together and went over and read to kids and had little kids read back to you. Imagine if you became playground monitors and helped them get on the swing so they didn't fall and bust their little knees and get boo-boos, right? These are the kinds of things I need my eighth graders doing so that those little people become good people like you, you're gonna be the best class of web that we've ever seen, right? Yes! Okay, great. So thank you so much for your help. Have a great school year. I love you to pieces, and I can't wait to come back and see you reading and tutoring and taking care of our little babies. All right, bye. Tell me the name of the street on which Ortega's left. Garland. Garland. Nice answer. Good job of a principal. Keep it safe. Safe and what? Keep the kids smooth. Okay. All right. And, run, and make sure everything runs smoothly. You're good. What's your school mascot? Stars. Not just the stars, the superstars. Thank you. Uh, all right, we all have a good school year. Bless you. Take care of that cold.
of these very first days so that we make the most of all the instructional time that we have. Okay, so we're learning about observing, classifying, and communicating. So we're going to observe. How do we observe? We're going to use the, the scientific terms, right? So go ahead and write that on your paper. Think about properties. What color is it? Green. I say silver. I'm just really pleased to see that all of our schools are holding themselves to high standards as we expect and kids are in classrooms, teachers are hired, we have all of our resource materials and teaching and learning is going on on this very first and second day. This is one of our prior students that's working with you. She graduated 10 years ago? Yes. Oh, 10 years ago. And she has her, she worked for super cuts as soon as she got out of high school. And now she has her and owns her, her own salon. Um, well, I actually graduated last year from the year, and I came back because I love cosmetology and I want to be a teacher and show people. Okay. They actually graduate with a certificate to their cosmetologist when they graduate. Yeah. From from high school. Yes. Yes. <laughs> to the tablet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. You did a beautiful job. Thank you. So what we've been doing is really focusing on, I think we started with an initial list that was from Travis and Lanier that was really focused exclusively on the dropouts. I mean, there's no question that these campuses will be full with waiting lists really rapidly and we just feel it's a matter of time. Just the sooner we can get to those kids, the quicker we'll get the seats filled. All of our kids have to take a project called Quality Counts, or do a project called Quality Counts, which is they learn about medicines, antibiotics, withdrawal times, proper usage of them. We have some kids that are going to ear notch the pigs, which is and identifying. Um, and it's in the veterinary science teaks. Um, it's also in our livestock production teaks. Like we'll go out and look in the weeds and they're like, this is edible, that's edible, you can make tea out of that. And their parents will come out and they'll collect things that they want to eat. Oh, wow. So it's kind of neat. Thank you so no much. Problem. I really appreciate no it. Thank, Thank you really for coming. Enjoyed it. Really Thank you for coming. It.